welcome to the stage your hosts for the evening, Jill Weinberger and Kate Lure. <laughs> if there's a cause you care about, there are three ways you can help. You can say something, do something, or give something. Oh, hey, that totally works. Say something, do something, give something, and that's what we do in the show. We say something, do something, give something. Say, that's really something. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think we were, uh, when I found out about this, uh, this organization and, and what they do, and I went on the website and, and read about it, it was inspiring. You know, taking in, you know, teenage girls at risk, you know, uh, teaching them stuff. I'm gonna open a home for single women over 40. <laughs> Cats are welcome, of course. <laughs> I will be there. <laughs> I feel like I need that, you know what I mean? Uh, and then if somebody wants to foster me, that's fine too. <laughs> Even though I am looking for a forever home, I think. Uh, um, I brought this along as, as a tool to help you put yourself in the mindset of these girls. Um, when these girls arrive at our doorstep, everything they own is in a garbage bag with them. Um, maybe it's one or two garbage bags, maybe they arrive with the clothes on their back. Sometimes, you know, a lot of the time, everybody was fighting against so much, and everything that came by was just kind of like, oh, well, I'm fighting against everything else. I don't know what that is, I'm just going to fight it. <laughs> I mean, we talk about it takes a village, and all the opportunities for an adult to come in, and I, I mean, I've seen your village. I have been to parties hosted by your mentor with filled with people who have all taken an interest in you and some time in you. And so I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about what it's like to be the recipient uh, of that kind of attention and, and if that had the effect that we, we all hope it had. You know, I used to like lay in bed at night and like make the wish on the star and like go into the tunnels and like do the, do the little hold your breath and make a wish thing and always wish for like regular parents. I just wanted regular parents and regular life. I got like 50. <laughs> I made way too many wishes. <laughs> so, Maury, I think we should probably go ahead and address the elephant in the room, which is um, you are a good-looking, straight, white male. Has that been difficult for you? Do you find a lot of doors just aren't open because of that? It's, that's, uh, yeah, it's, um, I didn't see that one. And we wanted to make you feel better about everything you've had to overcome as you're a member of your very oppressed yep. demographic yeah. by right. letting you know that there are jobs, certain jobs, historically, for which it has been good to be a man. So we created a game called It's Good to Be These, set to the music of It Sucks to Be Me from Avenue Q. And uh, for this game, Katie is going to sing to you about some traditionally male-dominated jobs. And your job is to guess what job she is singing about. When folks stay up late, like past 11 o'clock, they want their comedy to come from someone with a block of guests and an opinion on just how things should be. Was rigged. <laughs> 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 